Hey guys, my name is Josh. Um, this is a piece of chipboard, three ply chipboard with a bunch of gesso on it. Um, really rough, super cheap, easy to paint on. I like to work on it just for fun, or sometimes use this backing for like my merch stuff. This is an, an, an old fan brush that, um, let's see if this focuses in, that's kind of ruined. And so I was trying to see if I can actually still use it. There we go. It's like clumped up together in a lot of areas, but that's okay. Kind of ruined. I was like, it'll give me a cool texture, maybe. I don't think you should throw away your ruined brushes. You can kind of experiment with them. So let's see what we can make with them. I have my reference pulled off to the side right here. It's a, uh, it's a female reference off, off Pinterest. I'll link it in the, in the, in the bio, or actually in the, I'll link it in the description below. So you guys can paint along if you want. I'm just using black and white acrylic paint. That's it, nothing else. Just water, black and white acrylic paint, and my paper towel, and this one brush. So let's get into it. We're going to be very expressive with it. Just trying to capture these shadows. Love that texture that this, uh, that this brush has given me. We're going to layer on some, uh, some shadows first, and come back in with white, and create some grays directly on the actual surface itself. I'm not going to do much pre-mixing. Um, I like the effect of mixing on the actual surface sometimes. Really utilizing that broken brush um, texture. All right. It's kind of like a 35 degree angle maybe. Um, eye line is coming across this way. And making sure that that's that's clear here is the shadow side, which can be very um, abstract, and then the the light side of the face, which can which is helps to be a little bit more accurate. <clears throat> now I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna clean my brush. I'm just gonna take this white here. And I'm gonna start blocking in where this light is hitting cheek. And that's the nose here cheek and then it comes across up here side of the eye and her eye is slightly open but I'm not going to worry about details I want to keep this one really abstract and over the top of the lip under the nose to the side of the cheek here and um, this is the bottom lip so we'll kind of pop that in just a little bit <clears throat> Maybe I can get rid of some of this glare. Let's see. It's a little better. Okay. And there's a little bit of light hitting, like a reflected light, maybe hitting um, this side of his face here. I don't want to put too much details. I just kind of infer what it is. I want the viewer to have a purpose in this painting. <clears throat> a little bit more white. It's turning gray because of the black on my brush already, but that's okay. Gotta get this nice lighter gray color in areas. And since it's a little darker now, I can use it to render a bit. This needs to be like a softer edge here. I'm still trying to keep track of these proportions and not trying to lose them too much. If I squint, I'm starting to lose the shape of this eye a little bit, so I'm going to bring it back in with some black. I'm going to rinse off my brush, still keep a little bit of the pigment on there, dry it up a bit, pick up my black, and we're off again. Shadows should start around here, actually. Shadows there, fine. Angled mouth here, lower lip shadow here, and we're kind of losing the painting down here, so we'll just be really rough with that. That's why I think you shouldn't get rid of any um, of these brushes. There we go, that's a better angle. You can get really cool painting, rough paintings with beautiful textures. And um, you can be experimental with it. I'm just using black, white, acrylic paint. Nothing special out of the main, out of out of the um, 
like the mass production tubs of paint, <laughs> not even out of the roll or out of the, I want to say, um, the smaller packages of paint. It's nothing special. It's just cheap entry level acrylic paint, diluted probably, but you just need to work with what you've got, right? Whatever you have is enough, hopefully. Maybe it's going to be a little bit darker here. Yeah, follow along if you'd like. Give it a shot. Use your own reference. I would recommend using your own reference, but you can use the one I use. I, I put it, I linked it at the, in the description. And um, check out madtrackle.com slash shop if you guys want to buy any of my work. Um, and thanks for, thanks for following. Thanks for subscribing. And you guys are the best. Hope you enjoyed this video. I have a quick acrylic sketch with a messed up trash brush. But it was fun. See you guys.